Midweek kayaking is sick because kayaking is always sick, but can get pretty lonely in the middle of the week because everyone else is at work or school. And so I'm often on my own in the middle of the week and I'm always appreciative of when companies such as Dink Outdoors give people like Philip Bruner time off in the middle of the week to come and shred. That's my best possible midweek shredding outcome. Um, I just got sent this message from apparently two up and coming German freestyle kayakers and they're, look, they're, they're also trying to kayak in the middle of a week and looking for people to kayak with. And I tend to be pretty conservative with kayaking with new people just because I've, I've been in a few situations where someone has gotten excited, overestimated themselves, and then the entire group has had a bad day because that, that new person to the group has, has overestimated themselves and they're, they're not good enough to be on that river. And, it, you know, all the chaos and carnage that comes with that. So I tend to be pretty conservative. And that's, you know, like my tagline is always like, I'll kayak with anybody, but not on anything. And that's one of the reasons why all the park jams happen on artificial parks, where it's as safe as possible for everyone. Um, but anyway, I tend to be a little bit more relaxed when it comes to freestylers, because I know that, I mean, number one, myself, all of my friends that are, you know, good at kayaking, um, came from a freestyle background and I know that if you're trying to be a freestyler and hit new tricks and new moves um, you're rolling a lot and you're getting trashed and dealing with it and, and rolling up and fixing it so I tend to be a bit bit more relaxed with freestylers and I'm always trying to um, be supportive of like up and coming kayakers so yeah let's let's go to Lofa and let's see how these German freestyle boys shred um, What's cool is that this is a video, so you guys don't have to put up with the hour and a half drive to the river right now. We can just magically transition our way to the river.
keep your right edge down, left knee up and just hold on to it. <laughs> ah Work on the triple combo, dude. That looks perfect from where I was. That was such a sick session. That might be my favourite session at Lofa of all time, which is saying something because I've had some sick days out there. For reference, that river, you can bomb it in like 15 or 20 minutes, or you can hang out and session it and take a bunch of time. Our first lap took us over three hours, which is saying something. And uh, that was really fun to me to, to show those guys a couple of like lines out there to see them step up to the biggest rapid at pretty chunky levels and um and also to um also to session that that one little freestyle spot at the at the end of the run was so cool to me and it was really special one because the 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 young bucks were fired up there and two like the standard of freestyle you know like because I'm normally there with people that river run and don't freestyle, the, the standard is different, you know? Like if someone pulls through a loop, uh, which is a front flip in a kayak, then that's pretty good, you know? But if someone, but like when the, these, these freestyle shredders were there, they were like going big and sticking them and like it was super impressive. And then when they got in, in my um, Piranha Firecracker, like to see them going for like more advanced, harder, like edge drop moves in that spot was 
was really inspiring to me to like try harder moves you know i normally just stick to like cartwheels and loops and stuff in in that style of kayak in holes at least um but now i'm motivated to try harder tricks and you know to to see paul going for the mcnasty was dead impressive but to see leon stick that phonics monkey was just insane to me like i, I watched him try a few times and i was like maybe it will work but I just don't think so and then he stuck that one perfectly and uh, I'm a little bit annoyed at myself because the, the camera shakes so much and uh, you know I try and be good with the camera and I filmed a bunch of big waterfalls uh, you know of my friends kayaking down big waterfalls and there's no shake and I'm really happy with the shot this freestyle trick that that Leon pulled I was like oh my god so you can see the camera shaking around and I was so stoked to watch him pull that and yeah like I say I have some motivation for myself with harder freestyle tricks in that kayak now. So yeah, hugely motivated. Cheers to Paul and Leon for the session. And yeah, I will catch you guys on the water. Again, because this is a video, you guys can skip the drive back home. But if you are ever looking for a playlist on your drive to the river, I have one here. And I'm gonna keep adding and creating them if people actually listen to them and subscribe, maybe, possibly. But um, yeah, that's all for this video. Catch you in the next one.